role in developing a country as it may highly generate income by providing shelter, infra infrastructure, and employment. Sustainable construction is developing of science field that is purpose to generate general sustainable development uh, of concept and conventional construction process. And its management in a project must focus on a total process from early design stage until final product. And it and it also impacts from negative negative to positive and the benefit that are expected during the facility. Our project is guided by three objectives, which is to gain knowledge about sustainable approach of construction in real practice, to develop effective communication skills and other mechanisms for resolving conflict, and to implement what we learn through site visit. Our study area for the sustainable construction management project is at company Golden Construction Center Perhat, which is located at Simpang Kanan Batu Pahat. We conduct this activity to analyze the application of sustainability approach and construction management in rural practice and we have conducted an interview with site supervisor which is Mr. Dio Tang to know the application of sustainable approach that is set on the construction site. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Hanisa. I would like to present about literature review. Based on the evaluation of non-residential green building in Malaysia, low energy office, which is LEO, building in Putrajaya is to demonstrate an energy efficient and intelligent building without compromising user's comfort. And it's to reduce the electricity consumption for equipment. For example, in the LEO building, the windows are primarily, primarily oriented to the north and south to receive less Direct sunshine and shallow shading is required to shade off the sun. Next, based on Malaysian existing green home compliance with leadership in energy and environmental design for home, which is LEDH. LEDH is to de determine applicability of modifying LEDH is uh, to suit existing standard technologies and building practice in Malaysia and to ensure minimum level of sustainable practice when the performance pathway of energy and atmosphere which is EA. Last but not least, Smart and Full House which is SCH is to ensure the overall thermal mass of house to stay cool throughout the day. SCH has used autoclave aerated concrete which is AAC block walls with a very low U value. So the average of internal temperature achieve, will achieve thermal comfort. Good day, my name is Noor Azwa Binti Azizan and I will introduce about the methodology for this project. There are about six stages for each methodology, uh, which is the first one is about the concept, uh, second one is about the planning and designing, the third one is the pre-construction of the project and the procurement stage. After that is the construction stage and the final stage is the post-construction. The first stage is about the concept. The concept of the project is where to do specific, what specification that need to be used for the project and where is the project need to be located. The second stage of the project is the layout planning and designing. The planning and designing is about what uh, type of house need to be used for the project for the construction. According to research by the Inti University College, um, nation people usually uh, afford, afford to buy medium to low cost house. So for this project, it's about medium cost house project. We need to know about the designing and the planning because it will reduce uh, cost of project uh, from the facilities uh, that being provided around the area. So this is one of the sustainable approach that used by the company to avoid uh, wastage of cost. The next stage is the pre-construction stage where 
after the bidding of the project, the construction team is uh, built where there is the project manager, uh, site officer and all the general workers. So, uh, we need to know what general workers that need to be used for the project such as the brick layer workers and the general construction workers. For the construction stage is where all the product is produced. The project is need to be conducted according to the time frame plan to avoid any fine from the client. The contractor don't need to pay extra salary to the workers. Lastly, the final stage of the project is the post-construction for the project. The post-construction is where all the project has been done either according to time or not. Even there is a delay in project, they are not necessary to blame the workers because the delay can come from the contractor itself. So, uh, the post-construction is where the liquidated damage time where there are time frame that been agreed by all of the workers, all of the high workers. Hi, my name is Nafadila Binti Masha. Um, today I will present about the finding. Uh, there is some issue that we found on the construction site at Taman Surya Permai. The first is uh, the illegal dumping. The construction of Taman Surya Permai may be facing the problem of illegal dumping. According to the site supervisor, Mr. Tio Witeng, this project lacks in practice of waste management because the construction waste will be transported by lorry to the unknown location. He just received an order from the higher management that the uh, that uh, he will manage the construction um, for it always be clean. Um, study shows that material waste has high significant impact to the cost of the project as well as an adverse impact on the environment. Second is the lack of PPE. Based on the observation, there is no safety glasses or face shield are worn during work operation by the workers. It can cause foreign objects getting into the eye during welding, cutting, grinding, nailing, or when working with concrete and harmful chemical, or when exposed to the flying particles. There is also no foot protection. The worker mostly wearing slippers. The third is uh, the efficient facilities to the workers. In this project, the contractor provide efficient facilities to the workers. They have living space to rest, eat and carry out life with comfort, human feelings, security, satisfying, um, safety and comfort is important for the workers. The distant workers will have to travel to the welfare facilities is in 50 meters near the construction site. Okay. The fourth is uh, the noise pollution. Some comfort is disturbed, is disturbed when the noise pollution happens because of the activity from the construction site. The neighborhood sometimes may complain about noise pollution. The site supervisor said this cannot be avoided. The activities and job functions at construction are constant, constantly changing as, as the job progress. I will be presenting about the recommendation and conclusion of the project that was carried out. So, uh, from the site that, that was carried out at Taman Surya Perumai, there are a few suggestions that can be taken to improvise the sustainability approach of the construction site. First of it is the proper disposal of waste. Um, the waste should be regularly collected and taken to proper dumping sites such as the sanitary landfill or the incinerator. Second is about the usage of toxic materials as it contains hazardous materials that can harm the health of people and the environment. Next is the usage of energy efficiently as it contributes a huge impact to the environment. Um, the fourth is green construction. As green construction could improvise the sustainability of the construction, such as the usage of the building index, 
because it promotes sustainability of the environment and promote awareness among developers. Next is the uses of new innovation such as the prefabricated method and the building information modeling. Prefabricated method is the practice of assembly components um, in factory and transports those components to the construction site later on. Um, it serves many advantages as it is eco-friendly, financial and time saving and reduce excessive wastage. In Malaysia, it is known as Industrialized Building System, IPS. Our building information system is the uses of various technology that can um, help in calculation of material. It is accurate and it can help to reduce the amount of resources needed. Okay. For conclusion, from the research that was carried out, you can conclude that the practices of sustainability in construction site that was implemented ensures the materials and energy being 